Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is my Sony a7R 4 that I just bought. This is a 61 megapixel beast of a camera. In this video, we're gonna go and open this up, have a look at what's inside, charge the battery, and then go and take my first ever photo with this new camera. If you're wondering why I bought this camera, I've got an idea for my first ever gallery project, and I wanna put this on in probably about a year's time, and I wanna be able to print the final prints in the exhibition at a reasonably large size. So I needed a camera with a enough megapixels to allow me to do that at a sufficiently high quality. This is going to be the first ever gallery project or exhibition that I've ever done, so if you want to be part of this journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you can follow me along the way as I go and take the pictures and eventually have the opening night in the exhibition. So it's going to be pretty exciting, something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. So let's go and unbox this thing and see what's inside. As you can see here, the safety seal is still intact. Let's go and undo that. I always tend to cut into the box by accident. And let's have a look at what's inside. This is pretty much the highest megapixel camera that I've ever owned. Got a little card here for Sony Alpha.ANZ. Membership card for the Sony Pro support program, whatever that is. Reference guide. Buy some accessories from Sony Guide. Instruction book in one language, instruction book in another language, and instruction book in another language. Have a look under here. Got a little mount. I think that's for HDMI and also the USB cable. So you can use this to kind of clamp on the side and protect the cables if they're inserted while recording. The obligatory USB cable, USB-C. And now we come to the good bit. Got the Sony A7R4 strap if you want to advertise exactly what camera you're using. And in this compartment, got the battery charger, the BCQZ1 battery charger. And in here, this must be the actual camera. Very exciting. And there she is, Sony A7R4. Okay, see what else is in the box. And in here, looks like we've got some power adapters for the battery charger for different countries. Let's just double check there's nothing else in here. The battery, this is an NP-FZ100. So my initial impressions are quite good of this. It's quite light, obviously I've not got a lens on it yet. And unfortunately, unlike the Sony A7S III, we don't have a fully articulating screen. So that's kind of one of the things that I was a little bit disappointed about when I was researching this camera. But you can tilt it down and you can tilt it pretty much a little bit past 90 degrees there. Just get my big gohumping hands out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna go and charge the battery for this, throw on a lens, and then we'll go and take the first ever photo with my Sony a7R4. So I've come to this local beach, hopefully you can hear me, it's pretty noisy at the minute. So I've got the A7R4 on the tripod down there and it's kind of pointing towards kind of the, the footsteps following around the bay and out onto the, the rocks. What I'm gonna do is throw on a graduated filter just to kind of bring down the sky a little bit and then I'm gonna take the first photo with my A7R4. So I've just fitted a 4.5 medium grad from uh, it's actually a Lee Filters graduated filter. Just gonna keep an eye on these waves here because one almost came up and touched the tripod so I'm a little bit nervous about what's going on with the sea at the minute. Just gonna take this filter bag back up to my main camera bag which is way, way, way away from the water there. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna line up the grad and then take the first photo. Okay, just go line up that grad filter. Okay, so that's everything set up. Got a two second timer. That'll help prevent any camera shake while the, uh, the photo takes. Really nervous about this water. Right, I'm just gonna wait now till the sky is how I want it and we'll go do it. I think I better hurry up. All right, here we go. I'm 
There it is, first ever photo with my A7R4. Right, I'm gonna get this away from the water's edge now. Maybe take a walk up there and see if we can get any more photos. So I've come up the beach a little bit and I found this spot here, we've got a few little rocks in the foreground and then just a little bit out to see some bigger rocks. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try a slightly longer exposure here and see what happens. We might get some of that water smoothing out. Hopefully I can come a bit farther away from the waterline as well because I was starting to get a little bit stressed that my brand new A7R4 was gonna get submerged in the water and waterproof it is not. Okay, I'm gonna get set up. Like there's a little hair or something in the viewfinder. I have no idea where that came from, seeing as this is the first lens I've ever put on it. So I'm just going to go give it a quick blow and see what happens. Just marked an X in the sand so I know where to set the tripod up. Little tip there. So I decided not to put a filter on, the light's kind of fading, and I thought it'd be a good test of the dynamic range. So we've got a bit of a brighter sky there, and a bit of a darker foreground and some shadows. So when we get back to Lightroom, it'll be interesting to see what the dynamic range of this A7R4 is like. All right, two second timer is enabled. Let's go and do it. Three, two, one. Okay, the image on the viewfinder is definitely telling me that the sky looks a bit blown out, but we'll see what happens when we get it back to the studio and do some editing. All right, so the sun was starting to go down, so I unclipped the camera from the tripod and just ran around the corner there, and I grabbed a few handheld shots, so I'll throw them up on the screen next, and you can see how well the Ibis did. I underexposed them by about one stop, I knew that I could maybe raise the shadows a bit and then save some of the highlights in the sky. No time for tripods or filters, I'm afraid. What I'm gonna do now is, because the sun's going down, got a bit of a walk back to the car park. So I'll head back, maybe take one more photo if the situation arises. So I couldn't resist one final photo, technically three. I thought I'd try and get a panoramic of the bay here and then stitch it together in Lightroom. I used a, what did I use? Hello. I use this Lee Grad filter, I think it's a 0.9 and I've set it so that the, it's not really the best thing, but I've set it so that the dark bits at the top, this just let me get a bit of a longer exposure to get a bit of movement in the water. I was going to use the, uh, the 15 stop IRND, but that would have made probably like a day's exposure once that was on. So I just tried to do the best I can really and uh, I'll put it on screen now. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for more videos like this in the future. And also hopefully some more photography with the new A7R4. Really looking forward to getting to learn it a bit more. Got to work out how to set it up so it's quick and easy to use. Yeah, feel free to like the video and also leave a comment. See ya.